Are you thinking about moving to Daytona Beach, Florida? Today, we're going to look at the pros and cons of Daytona Beach. That all comes up right now. This is Todd with Living in Daytona Beach. If this is the first time to the channel, go ahead, hit subscribe and the bell so you never miss a thing about living in Daytona Beach. And plus, are you moving in nine days or nine months? Well, that is fantastic. Please reach out. Give us a call, text, email, or even set up a Zoom video call because we want to make your move memorable. Hey, it's impossible to talk about Daytona Beach without talking about the beach itself. With 23 miles of white, sandy gloriousness, you're bound to find something for everybody. Whether it be just sunbathing or splashing around in the ocean, stopping at one of the restaurants along the beachway, or doing some shopping, catching a concert. There's plenty of things to do along the beach line. People always ask, well, how big is Daytona Beach? Well, it's a little under 74,000 people. And what's nice about that is that you still get that beach town feel, still have plenty of things to do. There's plenty of nightlife, plenty of activities to do for family, friends, um, plenty of uh, activities, outdoor parks. Of course, the beach we mentioned before. But because of the size of the town, it's not overwhelming. So a lot of people will move from a larger town, especially from up north, come down here and not only enjoy the weather, but enjoy the fact that it doesn't take you a half hour to get all the way, to get it all the way across town. It takes you just a few minutes. And most areas are extremely accessible. Traffic is fairly low. The only place you'll find it really extremely busy is on International Boulevard. Now it is four lanes of traffic, each direction that's eight lanes total. And you'll find that on certain event days, such as NASCAR, you will get yourself into a situation where you'll have some heavy traffic. Those are just places to avoid. Other than that, it's easy to get north to south because of access on I-95. And of course, quick access to Orlando, which is only 45 minutes to the west of Daytona Beach. If you're looking for a different feel for the beach, Jacksonville is just not even 80 miles to the north, and if you want to go check out a rocket launch, you can make your way down to Cape Canaveral, which is only about 45 minutes to the south.
Now, talking about the job market is another one of those pros in Daytona Beach. Not only do you get the beach atmosphere of living here in Daytona Beach, but also some of the big major players in the area as far as employers go. Of course, one of the big major players here in Daytona Beach is Brown & Brown as an employer, which is the sixth largest independent insurance brokerages in the nation. Also, a major player for employment is Top Build which is a purchaser and distributor of major insulation products for construction use. Web resources such as Niche.com put the median household income at a little over $47,000 per year. 44% of the population of Daytona Beach own their home. The average cost of a single family home in Daytona Beach is a little over $330,000, which is comparably high to the rest of the United States, but is very, very low compared to the rest of Florida. And of course, nothing is complete unless you talk about the pros of the educational system in the area. Now we have some very high rated schools in the Daytona Beach area. Niche.com ranks many of them in the A, grade A category. You'll find a, just a very diverse choice of different schools in the area, whether it be a charter school, public charter school, or whether it be a private school, your choice is endless and you'll find something that will fit every need you have depending on where you live and what neighborhood you're located in. Now comes for that part. We don't want to talk about what we should mention is the cons of living in Daytona Beach, Florida. Well, even though we get 72 degree weather on average across Florida, across Daytona Beach, the average is 72 degrees and the weather is gorgeous. We do have to contend with the chance of hurricanes and tropical storms. Does it happen? Yes, it does happen from time to time. But what's nice about the east coast of Florida where Daytona Beach is located at is we had a chance to escape a lot of the tropical storm and tropical activity, hurricane activity that happened every single year. Does flooding occur? It can, so it's something to be aware of. Now, of course, with good weather and summer weather comes the downside of high humidity. Summertime can be extremely difficult to stand. July, August, and September, you'll find temperatures are not quite unbearable, but finding yourself inside an air-conditioned space is your choice. And one of the cons of living in Daytona Beach is it is a world famous beach. With that being said, on average, that's on average, we will see a little over 9 million visitors per year. Now a lot of it has to do with all the activities. Talk about everything from the Daytona 500 to uh, Jeep Week and Bike Week, which brings millions of people in every single year. But also just the beach itself. Condos and hotels line the beaches up and down the 23-mile stretch, so it's not uncommon for Daytona Beach itself to be extremely crowded. But remember, you have over 23 miles of beach, so you can go to north to the south, and you'll find a little quieter atmosphere and get a chance to take a break, take a breather, grab some sun, grab some, grab some surf, and not worry about being crowded 
too much with. And of course, many sources on the web will cite us. One of the cons of the area is the heavy traffic. Now, being that this area can be a vacation destination for many, many millions of people, yes, it's true. We can have some serious traffic issues. When you're local, you understand there's some areas you just to avoid, such as areas around the Daytona 500 Speedway, where you have an event that goes on in that location. It's a place you want to avoid because there will be heavy traffic. But also, there can be backups along I-95. You can have some major issues with uh, either traffic accidents or even weather that will slow things down. Again, something to be aware of. Is it easy to get across town? Yes, there's many streets that will take you east to west across town. One to be aware of is, as well, if you're on the beach side and you are traveling up and down A1A, that could be a place of congestion as well because many, many people that are visiting the area will travel A1A up and down the coastline. It's the major road that goes up and down the coastline, especially in the summertime. But it's something that's not uncommon to any other area. And besides that, it's a great place to cruise up and down, see the beach line, see what's going on activities-wise, and find yourself a, a, maybe a new restaurant. As we say in Daytona, see you at the beach.